Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the channel and welcome to a little bit more Gran Turismo 7 Science. Now this one's going to be a little bit more like a kind of initial findings video more than anything else, but we are going to test as to whether cooler conditions provide more grip on the track. So this week's Daily Race C on Gran Turismo 7 has been Group 3 at Daytona. It's got a very nice sort of day and night transition sequence to it. You start off in the kind of sunset conditions just as the sunscreen begin to set and then it goes into kind of nighttime conditions and a few people have been expressing over the course of the week on stream that they think there is a change in the grip levels as the race progresses and you go into those cooler conditions and you get a little bit more grip now i've had a similar suspicion myself and maybe even well i've said it on stream but more so when i'm doing any kind of qualifying run you have the same day night uh, transition and i've always felt that just as you get to sort of laps eight and nine on a kind of qualifying fine run you just find a little bit more grip out there now i wasn't sure that was entirely down to the conditions or maybe just getting a little bit of more comfortable with the car and the track but i wanted to put it to the test so we're going to do a very simple test and that test is going to be seven laps around a top loss short course in the group four toyota supra with bop on tires at times one fuel at times one run number one is going to be in cloudy and chilly conditions run number two in warm and sunny conditions and if our suspicions are confirmed we should be quicker in terms of lap time, optimal time and finishing time in the cloudy and the chilly conditions. So first up, we are in the cloudy and chilly conditions. Now before we did any of the race runs, we did around about 10 laps just to get dialed in with the car and the track, know where all our braking points were and have a rough idea of what we were doing around the, these kind of race runs. Next up I then wanted to do the cloudy and chilly run first because I didn't want that to be a factor that I just did the conditions we were expecting to be quickest and lastly because it could then just be put down to the fact that I was more dialed in with the car and the track. So we did the cloudy and chilly run first followed by the warm and sunny run. So coming to the end here of the cloudy and chilly run, lap number 7 completed. Let's move on to the warm and sunny run. Now in normal, kind of this was GT Sport, I would expect this run to be quicker just by the fact this was the last run that I've done. I've been more dialed in with the car and uh, just that kind of natural evolution you have as you get more comfortable with a car and track combination. Now one thing that did play a very small factor in this one but actually in benefit to the warm and sunny conditions was the fact we had this Corvette in front of us giving us a nice slipstream for quite a bit of the race. So. A little bit of an advantage, so bear that in mind as we move on to the results screen, but we are expecting to be slower in this test compared to the first one, so having a slipstream advantage, we kind of actually confirm our results a little bit more. But coming to the end of the warm and sunny run, let's move on to a screen where we'll compare all the lap times, the optimal time and the finishing time. So straight away we can see our finishing time is 1.2 seconds quicker to the good in the cloudy and chilly conditions. Optimal lap is around about 3 tenths of a second a lap quicker. And in general we're around about 2 to 3 tenths of a lap quicker per lap. Uh, fastest lap for cloudy and chilly conditions are 114.9. The warm and sunny conditions which I would say was probably slipstream assisted was a 115.1. So around about two tenths of a second there but yeah as i said initial findings this really but this kind of confirms to me that cooler conditions have a little bit more grip and that's going to play quite an important role i think whenever you're doing any kind of qualifying run for daily race a b or c and it's got a day and night transition in there you might be making sure you're doing those laps in optimal conditions but yeah let me know what you think in the comments about this do you think uh have you experienced this yourself do you think it's placebo do you think i'm talking rubbish let me know in the comments please hit that like button please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and i'll catch you on the next one goodbye now